just get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This is fucking dirt. I don't give a fuck what you nigga, you, you right there. You with a fat ass mom that just walked past and shit. Yeah, you, yeah, your mom is fat as fuck, nigga. You about to talk in my comments. Suck my with your mother's mother's lip, nigga. Okay, YouTube, it's your boy Upper Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reaction channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. And if you haven't, go follow my Instagram and also subscribe to my backup YouTube channel because content will be on there shortly. Today's video is not a reaction video, but nevertheless, it's a banger. And I need everyone to stay tuned. Matter of fact, before the video even gets. Look. Stop right here and hit that like button. Scroll down, hit the like button. Oh, my nigga, what's, what's taking you so long, son? Say hit the like button, bro. Like that ass, my nigga. You want me? I was, st I was stelling you right now, bro. Stop playing with me. Hit the like button. Oh, all right. That's what I thought. Anyways, today we go get into the bang, man. This video about a rapper, a rap. What, what, what the nigga product be saying? Rapper man. Boom, boom. <laughs> nah, let me stop. We ain't gonna be doing nobody fucking intros and ad libs and all that shenanigans in here. This is a banger, man. Yo, Stella, I need an endorsement. Tag Stella in the comment section too, man. I need an endorsement. Anyways, it's this particular video right here is about a rapper. This rapper got punched in the face for uploading his own. Song. Yeah, you heard it right. Uploading his own song. Which he didn't have permission to upload. Hmm. How do you not have permission to upload your own song? That is the question you're asking. Hmm. I had to drink some tea. But anyways. I'm gonna run this clip, man. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna run this clip. Y'all gonna watch this clip, and then we gonna get back to the shit talking. Run the clip. It was about taking kindness for weakness and how it can go wrong, right? So this cat hits me up. He was locked up for like a month, couldn't make bail, then end up making bail. He hit me like, yo, big bro, I wanna take this rapper shit serious. Could you help me out? So I'm like, you're not nice and rapid. But you do have clout. So I could turn that into something. So, you know what? I got you. Don't even worry about it. So what I do, I get him a situation in this, with this company called Stream of Live Action. So Stream of Live Action, they were going to pay his fan base for watching his videos. And he get paid too. All he had to do was promote that his video was going to drop on Stream of Live Action. His fans get a chance to win money. And he gets paid as well. Right? Simple. Easy. Boy is going to make bread. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get on the ball. So I hit my boy GQ. I'm like, yo, GQ, I need you to style this cat for me because he has no sauce, no drip. He's dry. Nigga don't know what to do with fashion. But GQ was like, big bro, I got you. Don't even worry about it. GQ got on the ball. Then I hit my my cuz, Chloe, Chloe, Chloe Love. And I'm like, yo, I need to use your spot for a video shoot for this artist that I'm, I'm working with. She like, cuz, don't worry about it. I got you. You know, her spot is like six bands out the gate. You know what I mean? That's the least ticket. But she's like, cuz, I'm family price. You good. So, all right. And you can't even get that spot. Because right now, they using that spot on some political shit. So, you can't even get to her. She's way out of here right now. Shout out Chloe Law. She's way out of here right now. So, anyhow. So, I get on the ball. Get everything together. Get We The Movement to shoot the video. We The Movement to shoot the video. So, now, I'm like nine bands invested in this video, into this project. So it's Gucci because I know we're going to make it right with stream and live action. And I brought other artists to the table too. Um, shout out those artists that I brought to the table um, that still have their project going on with stream and live action. But yeah, so we, um, we the movement shoots the video, sends us a preview. So when I got the preview, I was going to hit boy up and say, yo, look at the preview of the video. I ain't like it because it was dry. I needed more scenes. I didn't think it was entertaining. He got the preview and automatically dropped the preview on his Instagram page. So that was the first sign of like, 
oh, you bugging out. So I hit him like, yo, bro, that's not how shit work. Like anything you doing with this project, you got to okay with me prior to you making any moves because I'm nine bands invested into this project. You can't just make moves on my bread the way you want to. It don't work like that, bro. He was like, all right, big bro, I got you. But you see what happened was GQ got him so fly that he never been this fly in his life. GQ got the nigga so fly that people started reposting it off of the preview, just off of the drip he had. You feel me? People reposting the video, reposting. He started getting hyped like, damn, this is mad attention, right? But I told a nigga, hold on, we're going to shoot more scenes, make the video better. Then we're going to drop it on stream on live action and you can promote to your fan base to go there. Two days later, this nigga drops the video on YouTube. Fucks up my situation with stream of live action. Fucks up that project. Fucks up my nine bands. So I'm like, yo, this nigga really think I'm pussy. He have to think I'm pussy. Why would you do something like that? Unless he thought I was pussy. He have to think I'm pussy. So I call a nigga up. I'm like, yo, bro, come check me. I'm like, I had big bro. Sends him an Uber. He comes through with his two mates. Came through, I'm like, boy, you think I'm somebody to play with? And he like, talk about. I'm like, do you think I'm somebody to play with? He's like, what you talking about? Punch that nigga all up in his face. Punch them all up in his shit. Pop that bottle. Boop! Pop that bottle on that nigga. Fuck this whole face up. Like, nigga, I ain't nobody to fucking play with, nigga. Who you think you playing with, nigga? He fuck up my whole situation with streaming live action because he hyped for fucking views. He throws his shit on Flowtastic shit. Uh, oh, yeah. Flowtastic. Um... That video of Breezy Blicky, 6 0, whatever the fuck you want to call him. Yeah, respectfully, you got to take that shit down. You feel me? Because I'm already invested nine bands into that video. We didn't have no communication or no talks of you uploading that on your site, and YouTube will cut you a check, so you're going to get paid off of my shit. That's a no go. So, everybody who's seeing this on my timeline, at this nigga Flowtastic and let him know to take that down because it's not worth it. Like, I'm a dumb out nigga. I'm a dumb nigga. Y'all know that. Tell them it's not worth it. Take that video down. Y'all at Flowtastic. Word. I don't know what this nigga was thinking. Nigga bugged the fuck out. Like, punch that nigga all up in his shit. Like, fuck. Like, ask the nigga to see his face right now. His face probably fucked up. Place like, yeah. His face probably fucked up. Like, don't play with me. 2020, I told y'all, do not play with me. This is not the year to play with me at all. It's not the year. Talk to y'all people, these young niggas, man. Talk to them. Okay, so now that you guys saw that clip, right? Do you still think said rapper is the guy he raps and portrays himself to be? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Nah, this stuff. Anyway, but like y'all see this, a lot of rappers portray a certain image. They come on here. Do a lot of extra shit, just like when Pop Smoke passed away, the nigga was the only one out of all the niggas in his crew that was disrespecting, you know, shit like that. He's a corny nigga, he does corny shit, and like, shit like that happens because of the corniness, you feel what I'm saying? Like, he involves himself in everything he has no business in, like, the incident that me and Sir Monum had and he involved himself, like, he just wants to be noticed, like, chill out, polka dot, like, just relax. Relax. You feel me? You just gotta hold your corner sometimes. It's best to be humble. That's how you last in the street. If you want to be gangster, you can be gangster without making a lot of noise. Because empty barrels usually make the most noise. So when you make a lot of noise, you know, things like this happen. When you got older people, you feel me, that done been through it. Like said dude in the video who was explaining the situation. Who done been through all this shit before. And... No, I go on with the streets and shit like, nigga, you're not like that, you feel me? And you're playing disrespect. You feel like everybody is just these little niggas that let you walk over them. No, sometimes you got to know your place and carry yourself as a professional. You're doing business with somebody, somebody invests money into you. You don't go against the grain. Like, you, 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 you're supposed to like, ah, right, yo, you know, I reached out to son, son, Reached back out and he, you feel me, he kept up his end of the bargain. So why should I go against the grain? That's how you're supposed to think. But 
you probably was feeling so much to show everybody the drip you had on or show everybody the video or whatever that you end up getting punched in the mouth about it and still had to take the song down. A lot of people don't know the situation. But I'm going to put it out there because this is what I do. This is what I do. When niggas talk shit, we pull a card. Probably would have left them alone because there's a lot of rappers that I do leave alone because they carry themselves a certain way. But when you carry yourself this type of way, man, I'm off a pull your card, dog. You feel me? I don't rate, I don't rate son for the, 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 the shit he did. You feel me? That's not no business shit. Like you, you can't be doing business like that. That's bad for business. You think what I'm saying? And then you end up being a punch up. So you, you making bad business decisions that's causing you punch upness. <laughs> that don't even make sense. But nigga said, show your face. I ain't gonna front. I ain't seen you on live in a little minute and shit. I ain't seen you, yeah, I ain't seen you talking too much either. What's going on, bro? Are you okay? Are you okay, bro? I know you're gonna comment in, under this shit and say your famous line. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> what BMG stand for? Bati man gang. Shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> fuck you talking about, nigga? What, what P-U-N-C-H stand for, nigga? <laughs> Punch. Boom. Don't get punched in the face. For thinking I'm just a YouTuber. Don't get punched in the face for thinking that I was just a regular old nigga. <laughs> you see the great beards in the bed, nigga? That shit right there is for motherfucking experience and knowledge, nigga. <laughs> that nigga knew how to throw that punch. Lumped his stupid ass up. Dumb motherfucker. Stop acting like you was a tug, man. Now, real nigga shit. All jokes aside, though. I, mean, I just be clowning these niggas sometimes. They be emotional and shit. Like, look, bro. I want to see all y'all niggas win, man. But at the end of the day, I'm not a nigga that I tolerate disrespect. So, you know, I'm going to pull niggas card or whatnot and shit like that. I don't really hate niggas because there ain't, ain't no reason for me to hate niggas. Niggas just talking shit. There ain't no real reason for me to hate niggas. I might want to smack you at the time you say what you say, but I don't hate niggas. You feel me? But I'm putting it out there still because this is what I do. You feel me? This is what I do. Put it out there. I'm, I'm, I'm saying shit, man. Niggas used to get embarrassed back in the day and shit. So I'm bringing back that shit nowadays. Fuck you talking about? Pull your car, nigga. Fuck you talking about? You niggas not letting that shit slide. But everybody leave a comment below. And let me know what y'all think about this video. You feel me? If y'all think son is right for doing what he did. Or son is wrong for doing what he did. You know what I mean? But don't forget to leave a like. If you just tuned in right now. And you didn't like this video yet. You better like that shit. Because I was stellar you too. No, I got to hold this shit like that because I got a little bit Stella in there. I don't want it to spill, but feel me? We'll hold it the other way and bust your head, you know? So make sure you like this shit. Cause I'm not even playing with you. Make sure you like this shit. That us. Hit the like button. And leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. You know, it's your boy Upper Class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. So you're invited every time I drop a new video. Good.